There is shock in France after a coach who was arrested for the alleged brutal assault of his partner, an Olympic gold medalist in judo, was acquitted. Ian Lee is with us this morning with more on that story as well as other international headlines. Ian, what can you tell us? And good morning, Amory. France has had one of the highest rates of murders linked to domestic violence in Western Europe. Many in the country blame authorities for not taking the issue seriously. Emmanuel Macron has called it the country's great shame. And now there is fresh outrage after a judge acquitted the coach and partner of an Olympic judo champion of domestic violence. Margot Pinot said Alan Schmidt punched and attempted to strangle her over the weekend. The Olympic gold medalist appeared at a press conference with bruises and cuts on her face, saying that it was likely judo that saved her life. But the judge said there was not enough proof of guilt for the prosecution to go forward with the case. Schmidt, who held his own press conference, said it was Pinot who attacked him. And prosecutors are appealing the ruling. We are now moving to neighboring Germany, where authorities announced a nationwide lockdown for the unvaccinated. They're also planning to make vaccines mandatory by February. On top of that, the country is imposing tighter restrictions on public gatherings for regions with high rates of infection. And this comes as Germany deals with its worst outbreak and fears over the Omicron variant. For anyone without the shot, they'll only be able to get access to essential businesses like supermarkets and pharmacies. And this comes as much of Europe considers following a similar path with mandatory vaccinations already in place in Austria and Greece. Next, we have Pope Francis calling on Europe to be more welcoming toward migrants, adding that they need to show a spirit of fraternity, break down walls, overcome divisions, and build a future worthy of humanity. And he made these comments during a visit to Cyprus yesterday and acknowledged that the visit will touch some wounds. The Pope has made advocating for migrants and refugees a cornerstone of his papacy. He called the Mediterranean Sea a great cemetery. His tour will also include Greece and the island of Lesbos, where thousands of migrants live in camps. Finally, we are in Denmark, where six customers and about two dozen IKEA employees found themselves having a big old slumber party. A snowstorm dropped roughly a foot of snow, trapping them inside the building on Wednesday. The store's manager said they slept on the showroom floor where all the beds, mattresses, and sofas were set up. And he joked that people could try out the bed that they always wanted. Everyone spent the night watching TV, eating, and said that it was just good fun. Amory, I could think of a million worse places to be snowed in than in Ikea. I totally would have raided the food court, uh, the Swedish meatballs, yes please. And one more fun snowed in story for you. Last weekend, a storm trapped folks inside a pub in England. Again, another great place to be stuck. It only had nine guest rooms for the dozens of guests, so it got a bit cozy, but fear not, they had an Oasis tribute band, roaring fire, and all the beer that you could drink. So. Here you go. If you had to pick an Ikea or a pub to be stuck in, what's your poison? Oh, I think Ikea. I got to admit, I mm -hmm. love the Swedish meatballs. And I was like coming up with all these concoctions for lingonberry syrup. I, I feel like a lingonberry margarita is like a mm. party in a glass. And it's also pretty much the only thing I can pronounce from Ikea out of all their stuff. So <laughs> that's what I'm going for. <laughs> I'm going to go with the pub. You it. got you got a band, you got a fire, and you got all the beer. So the, I'm set. I know, but I thought about, you know, how long can I listen to an Oasis cover band? And I like <laughs> Oasis, but I mean, all night long, I don't know. <laughs> Let's hope they have a broader Ian repertoire. Lee, <laughs> yeah, let's hope so, because you don't want me to start singing. No, no, no. Uh, Ian, thank you so much. I hope you have a great weekend. <laughs> you too.